Digital security. Swift response. Smart progression. Welcome to Qingqiao Safety. Investigation. According to South Korean news reports on July 6, many schools in Namwon City, North Jiala Province, South Korea, experienced suspected food poisoning among teachers and students. Namwon City authorities reported that as of 1 p.m. on the 6th, 1,024 individuals from 24 elementary, junior high, and high schools in the city were suspected of having food poisoning, exhibiting symptoms such as vomiting, fever, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Immediate investigations were initiated. Authorities discovered that students and staff at these schools developed symptoms after consuming Korean kimchi served in the school cafeterias. Norovirus was detected in the kimchi. Currently, Namwon City has suspended all activities related to the production, distribution, and sale of products. Norovirus, previously known as Norwalk virus, is a gastrointestinal virus. It is widespread in environments such as water, food, and surfaces of objects, where it remains active, awaiting opportunities to infect hosts. Norovirus has diverse transmission routes, easily spreading among people. Contamination of water sources, raw materials, or processing equipment during food handling can lead to foodborne infections. Feces and vomit from infected individuals contain high levels of norovirus, which can contaminate items, food, or water, entering new hosts through ingestion. The virus can also aerosolize during vomiting, remaining suspended in the air and potentially infecting healthy individuals who inhale these aerosols. Close contact with infected persons or their belongings, such as shared tableware or toilets, facilitates direct or indirect transmission of the virus. Upon entering the body, norovirus rapidly replicates in the intestines, causing symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and abdominal pain. Severe cases may lead to complications such as dehydration. While most cases resolve on their own within a short time, infants, young children, the elderly, and individuals with underlying health conditions may experience more severe health impacts from norovirus infection. The recent food poisoning incident in South Korean schools has highlighted significant oversights in food inspection processes by authorities and raised concerns about the safety of food production practices. Local officials have dispatched an investigative team to thoroughly examine the production, distribution, and sales processes of the implicated company. Collaborating closely with the health department, they aim to assess the extent of the infection and implement measures to prevent further spread of foodborne illnesses. Immediate steps include establishing rapid medical response channels to assist infected individuals. Additionally, authorities are urging the public to enhance personal hygiene practices. Recommendations include frequent handwashing with soap and water, ensuring food and drinking water safety by thoroughly cooking food items, avoiding consumption of raw or undercooked seafood, and maintaining cleanliness in public spaces. People are advised to minimize close contact with suspected or confirmed cases, seek prompt medical attention if experiencing symptoms, and report any concerns to relevant authorities to facilitate swift preventive and control measures. Tune in at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday for Qingqiao Safety Investigation for your daily safety updates.